everybody welcome back to the way podcast i am your host chloe gorgas and i'm so excited for today's podcast thank you so much for listening or watching this uh today i have something so good and it's so good that i just can't wait to start talking about it today we are going to be kind of discussing or talking about god's plan for our lives and not comparing your timeline and your life to anybody else's life and this is something i've struggled with before i think every human being has it's something that I feel like I haven't talked about yet really on this podcast and I'm really excited because God gave me kind of I guess an analogy yesterday and it was really good to do with this and I thought I would just share it with you guys I made like a YouTube short on it but I'm like this needs to be turned into a whole podcast because I could probably talk about this forever Um, and it's just like a new mindset that I've kind of gained and I want to help you guys just know that God has a specific plan for your life and that's not going to look like anybody else's and there's a reason for that and God is using you for a reason and God woke you up today because he's not done with you. God does not create anything worthless. So um, yes, I'm just so excited. So I guess I'm going to start off with my little analogy. So, um, basically yesterday I was reading a devotional book, uh, by Sadie Robertson and I was reading it and I saw like a line in the book and you know, I'm just showing my Bible right now as an example cause I have it right here. But if you're listening to this, basically I was reading the book and then I was reading the first line, the first line of the book. And then I like my eyes started gazing off to like other lines later. And basically Sadie was telling a story and I was reading the first line and then I skipped to like line 12 and I'm like whoa this story doesn't make sense anymore I don't know why I did that but I like my eyes randomly just like shifted over you know and um so the story didn't really make sense when I started off on the first line but it didn't make sense when I randomly skipped to one of the lines later in the story and that made me think like God has a story for our lives and even like you have to live each day as each day you can't try to skip ahead and do things god has already worked out because then the story won't make sense because then the story isn't going to work out right you know how you start reading a story and then it might kind of start off boring you're like okay can this speed up i don't want to keep reading this what is this i don't like this but then soon you're like addicted to the story you are in the story you are like oh my gosh let's go and it made me think like you can't get to that part of the story without it starting off a little boring at first so this i just wanted to speak to anyone in a waiting season if you're like okay what the heck is happening in my life i'm just kind of sitting here i'm just kind of doing nothing i'm kind of like what is this like i want my boyfriend i want my girlfriend i want my relationship i want my job i want whatever it is um if you're just sitting there and you're thinking that um i want to tell you that you have to go through those boring things to get to the exciting things and those things don't even have to be boring you can change your mindset from boring to these things are preparing me for the better that god has because if you weren't going through those things the story wouldn't really make sense if you weren't going through the things that are preparing you for what god has for you the whole entire story would make sense because you know say you were thinking about your whole entire life as a written out storybook as literally like a book like this like a bible like whatever just like your whole entire life as a book you would be born you know you would grow up you would live your life and then say you got to the part of the story where you're just kind of chilling there you're in high school or you're wherever you are um and then it, the story wouldn't really like be exciting if it was like then this girl was in high school she wanted that boyfriend she got that boyfriend they fell in love the end like is that really that interesting no i don't know that's just like one way that god kind of showed me it's like every part of your life was created for a reason the boring parts were meant to prepare you and meant to teach you that you don't need anything else but jesus to fulfill you because i used to fill my waiting seasons up with just wanting a boyfriend wanting more wanting more wanting more but all i when i found out like why i was feeling so unfulfilled from that it's because i wasn't leaning on jesus and i wasn't like falling more in love with jesus because sometimes jesus puts us in those times alone to fall more in love with him not just to replace that with a relationship i'm telling you what god has for you is for you he will bring that relationship when the time is right he will do that thing when the time is right but you just need to be patient and you just need to surrender it all to god and you need to say okay god my life is yours and um yeah i also have a verse that it's like one of my life verses i love it so much i have this little book hold on um this is psalms 139 verse 16 let me find it oh psalms is such a good thing i especially love psalms 139 
everything it says in it is so good. So if you haven't read Psalms 139, I really recommend it. It's so good, y'all. Okay, Psalms 139, 16, okay. This is, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. This literally tells us in this this book of truth, the Bible right here, it says, every, oh, every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. This second, right now, you're listening, you're watching to this podcast, God intentionally put this video in front of you so you would be watching it the thing you're about to do when you click off of this podcast like you might go walk your dog you might just sit there you might god has planned every single thing out in your life for a reason everything is supposed to be happening happening intentionally and i'm telling you honestly i know this sounds really corny but it's really true imagine your life was a movie that movie wouldn't be interesting if like Just because that person wasn't getting what they wanted at exact time, they just sat down and did nothing. Would your life really be that interesting? Imagine you were literally watching a movie about your life and all you did was sit there. Like, come on now. Would that be very interesting? No. So use those waiting moments to go spread the love of Jesus. Go use those waiting moments to fall more in love and just soak in the presence of God. I'm telling you that God doesn't just put you in a waiting season to just sit around and be bored. God puts you in a waiting season. God puts you in those times and you're sitting there and you're like, is there even a point in this? Why does every day feel like it's the same exact thing? God doesn't want you to feel like that. God wants you to use those days that are kind of more boring. He wants you to use those, and he wants you to find a way to tell others about Jesus. He wants you, maybe he's trying to reveal something to you, but also I saw this thing. It's like the teacher is always quiet during the test. Okay, so this could really be a test for you to just sit and fully rely on him, but I'm telling you, like your life if you're literally watching a movie about someone else's life or your life and you just sat there and did nothing that would be so uninteresting go and live those moments that you feel bored i know this sounds boring but i mean i know this sounds really corny but like it's not like be so for real because you don't want to be sitting on your deathbed and sitting around thinking like oh i wasn't getting my boyfriend at that time when i was in high school so i just sat around on my couch i really wasted my childhood or i don't know i don't know but Like, you don't want to be sitting around on your deathbed sad because you wasted your whole life just sitting there. And I get it. There's going to be times where we need a break and relaxing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, seriously, go enjoy. In those waiting moments, what I found is, like, go enjoy God's creation. Go take a walk. Go look at the sunset. Go see the sunset. I mean, I know not everyone lives near a beach. And I know that that might not be the easiest thing for you to always do. But, like, there's always a way you can see a sunset somehow. Like, you can go outside. I don't know. But, um... Um, wake up early for the sunrise go like be healthy live a healthy lifestyle do those things focus on jesus first not yourself not like be so focused on yourself but like focus on jesus first and be focused on bettering yourself because those the quiet times and those times you call boring are the times god wants to use you to shape you into the person you need to be so you can have that relationship so you can have that job so you can have that thing god doesn't make a single moment for no reason like it literally says in this verse um every day of my life was recorded in your book every moment was laid out before a single day had passed so wake up every morning with so much excitement and comfort and peace and the fact that you weren't a mistake today you weren't just woken up so you can live the same old day god woke you up today so you could fall more in love with him if you really don't know what else to do with your life and you should do this regardless but every day should be a day to fall more in love with jesus oh my goodness yes also sorry my dog just came over here she's so cute she's in the blankets what is she doing she just got a bath um she's so cute i love her uh but anyways so yes let me get a drink of water real quick okay so now i have another verse for you guys i wrote it down in this notebook hold up um jeremiah 29 11 you might have heard this verse before but actually i just realized this might be easier if i just go on my phone and look it up on my bible app because i take so long to find bible verses hold up jeremiah 29 okay this is for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future god 
even if you hit a dead end in life and even if you something happens in your life and you're like what on earth is this why did this just happen this is literally horrible god why would you do this to me god i don't like the story you're writing for my life anymore god i'm gonna go live my own way even when you hit those moments where you're like i have literally no idea what's happening why is this happening to me we have to live and hold firmly to the truth those are the times you need to hold to the truth the most because it says for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you hope in the future there is hope during that pain that is when god want god doesn't just leave you in your pain he isn't just like okay this thing just happened but um now just go deal with it on your own no god wants you to like rely on him in those times the pain, the times of pain are when we really need to hug god the most when we really need to like reach out to jesus the most like i mean always reach out to jesus the most but like i'm saying like those times of pain you are supposed to be close that's what god really wants you to just draw near to him because some things god allows to happen so they can make us stronger and god doesn't god's end for you is not to suffer god's end for you is to get more people into the kingdom of heaven at the end of the day if you're sitting here and you're like i really don't know what my purpose in life is i don't fully even know what my purpose in life is i mean i have a gist of it but no one exactly fully knows what their purpose in life is but i've been thinking about this a lot lately at the end of the day we all have one main purpose and it's really the only purpose that matters at the end of the day getting people into the kingdom of heaven and whatever god has placed you with whatever people are around you in your life right now whatever job you have whatever like school work you have whatever wherever you are in school i don't know wherever you are in your life right now you have one main goal if you can't think of anything else you have to do your main goal is to get people into the kingdom of heaven to be a light for others spend those times you're sitting around waking up like same old day no it's not the same old day it's a day to get people away from hell and into heaven it's a day to wake up and better yourself in the lord and better yourself in truth it's a day to wake up and be a light for the kingdom it's a day to wake up and do something for the kingdom of god do more than one thing for the kingdom of god because at the end of the day all the things like the instagram the the relationship the boy you're talking to the girl you're talking to the snapchat picture i don't know whatever at the end of the day all of those things are going to fade away and it's just going to be you and jesus and jesus is going to literally talk to you and you're going to give an account okay and god wants nothing more than to just know you every day wasn't created so you could just sit around and juggle all these things and get all stressed out and blah 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 blah, blah. every day was created so that you you right there okay god doesn't create anything worthless he woke you up today because he said okay this girl this boy they have a purpose in my kingdom every day was created so you could bring people to the kingdom of god if you're sitting there and you're like i really don't know what my purpose is do something for jesus do something for your father who died on a cross for you and i'm telling you like he said you are fearfully and wonderfully made psalms 139 13 through 14 he literally thinks you're so beautiful he thinks you're so handsome he created every little aspect of the way your body looks the way your hair looks the way your face looks the way your lips look whatever you're insecure about god created that for a reason he created it to look exactly like that and so often we look at sunsets and we're like oh my gosh they're so pretty so often we look at the moon and we're like oh my gosh the moon is gorgeous so often we look at the trees and we're like oh my gosh wow that tree is so pretty but sometimes we catch ourselves and we're like we're looking at ourselves in the mirror and we're like you why do i look like this like it just happens we're humans we have those thoughts sometimes but i'm going to tell you this is kind of shifting to insecurity but that's okay the lord speaks what the lord wants to speak anyways but sometimes we're looking at ourselves in the mirror and we're like i don't know why i look like this why do i look like this he wouldn't want a girl who looks like this i'm ugly i am gross those are lies from the enemy you have to tell the enemy shut his trap okay like that enemy is lying to you because you want to know what it says this isn't just me being inspirational this isn't just me being kind this is me saying that in the truth this bible right here the book of truth it says you are fearfully and wonderfully made it says you are made in the image of god you were made in the literal image of jesus christ you were made and jesus said you are good jesus says you are altogether beautiful jesus says you're fearfully and wonderfully made you can look it up verses about how who jesus says i am you are not ugly you are not your thoughts about yourself you are not what anyone else has ever said about you you are what jesus says about you anything anyone has ever said to you anything you have ever thought about yourself that isn't even true 
The only truth is literally the truth in the Bible right here. And if, whether you believe it or not, I hope you one day will come to believe it because Jesus says he has plans to prosper you, not to harm you. So even when life is getting dark, even when you really can't trust your feelings, you can't trust your thoughts, you're not even meant to do that. You're meant to trust in the book of the Bible. You're meant to trust in the book of truth because everything in this Bible is truth. It's not just an inspirational quote. It's literal truth truth like this is what this is what's meant to literally mold your whole life um and yeah i just wanted to like speak on that because if you have been feeling ugly you've been getting insecure thoughts and not even maybe just about the way you look but the way you act the way you are the way just anything if you've been getting thoughts that clearly don't line up with the word of god you need to get on top of it you need to say enemy i rebuke you and you need to stand on the truth because Living in the truth is so much more freeing than leading, leave it, living in the slavery of the enemy's lies. So, um, yes, I just wanted to speak on that. And honestly, like, Jesus has such a plan for your life. And again, that's not just me sitting here being, like, kind. Like, it's truth. It literally says that in his book. God, think about it this way. God created the sun so it could sit in the sky and it could give sun to everyone and so people could look around and be like oh it's such a pretty day it's so sunny god created grass so little kids could go on the grass and they could roll around in it and so we could run around in grass and we could have fun in grass god created butterflies because they're beautiful and because they they have their own purpose god created a house so we could live in god created chairs so we could sit in god created people all around us and every single one of us have a purpose just like all those things have a purpose you are literally god's creation like just because like just because you're not a tree doesn't mean you're not god's creation like we look at god's creation in the sky so often and we're like wow that's beautiful we look at god's creation all around us we're like wow that's so beautiful we look at other people we're like wow that's so beautiful but so often we don't look at ourselves the same way but we are literally god's creation that have a purpose just like how the sun has a purpose and the moon has a purpose and the stars have a purpose and a house has a purpose we are also part of that creation we are that creation you listening watching right now you're literally part of god's creation you're not just some separate thing that was a mistake when they were born no you have a purpose you are part of god's creation and you're not just meant to wake up every day and just sit there you're meant to wake up every day saying i am god's creation creation i'm gonna fall more in love with jesus if nothing else happens today i'm gonna fall more in love with jesus i'm gonna soak in the presence of god and i'm gonna fall more in love with the creation of jesus creation of jesus hold up guys i need water so i'm sorry if you hear a little background noise it's because there's dishes but it's okay somebody's doing oh. <laughs> uh, sorry guys okay sorry if you're like listening to this you're probably really confused but i just bumped my um computer anyways so yes like i was saying there is such a divine purpose for your life and i just really want to speak that to someone because like i was saying in the beginning of this podcast like you wouldn't read a book and then randomly skip to line 55 because then that story really wouldn't make sense and this is another thing like so often we try to rush what god is doing in our life like god isn't putting the relationship in my life okay i'm done god isn't giving me this so i'm done but no you need every line in the story to make sense god has given you this day to day so the thing that he's preparing you for could make sense every day isn't meant to be wasted every day is part of the story and you might not it might not make sense now but the story really won't make sense if you're trying to push things into a separate day or a separate line in the book because when you read a story it's laid out the author of the story wrote it so it would make sense the author of the story wrote every detail and every part whether the story starts off boring and then it gets really interesting or it starts off and it's interesting the whole time whether it, whatever it is the author wrote that story so it could have its own purpose and it could have its own like story you know um so i really want to speak to someone jesus is the author of your story your life and he has written every single day out for a reason and there's a purpose in every single day and you really need to wake up starting to live every day like that because you really i know this is getting kind of dark but you really don't know how much time you have left and like god really wants you to just submit to him today it's never too late you're never too far gone for jesus you're never too sinful for jesus no you're not you you just aren't jesus created you today and if you're waking up and you're watching or you're listening whatever you're doing what if whenever you're listening or watching to this i want to tell you that it's like god didn't 
wake you up so you could sit and just sit in your shame or sit in your condemnation god woke you up so you could submit to him today because jesus doesn't create anything worthless like i was saying like he wants you to just say you're sorry for your sins and give your life to him if you haven't done that and you're listening and watching to this like god wants you to just say you're sorry for your sins give your life to him live for him it's never too late like you don't know how much time you have left and i'm just like there's people who have who have literally had plans for this morning and died last night every moment should be a moment you're thankful for spend those times of waiting and just replace it with gratitude replace it with thankfulness say lord thank you i have a family thank you i have a good friend thank you i have pets thank you i have a house thank you whatever you're thankful for just thank the lord for it because you could always have so much less and if you're bored and you're sitting there just be thankful that you don't think th be thankful you have what you have and use that and be a light for that be a light in the kingdom of god because waiting seasons weren't just created for any reason for no reason waiting seasons were created so the story could make sense because the story would be really boring if it was just like the whole time someone was like dancing and they're in love like okay great but what else did you do with your life it's like the story god is writing for your life is beautiful whoever's listening and watching to this i just feel it so deeply from jesus that you have a specific perfect purpose and i know you're looking to that other person and you're like why doesn't my life look like theirs or you're looking to that girl who seems like she has everything together on instagram or youtube and you're like why isn't my life like theirs like oh my gosh oh my gosh you need to stop doing that you're feeling so drained because you're doing that you need to say no god has given me my life the way i look the way i act for a reason this isn't just some scrap that came out of the trash i am a creation of jesus just like how the trees and the sun and the flowers are all creations of jesus i am a creation of jesus created for a specific purpose i know jesus is writing out my story day by day i don't need to rush this i don't need to take this too fast i just need to live in every exact moment god has given me in my life i need to know i know i need to know to be still and know that jesus has jesus is god and i need to just sit in his presence in every moment of my life whatever i'm doing in my life right now whether it looks like somebody else's life or not it's not supposed to the story books would not be interesting if every single book was the same would it like imagine imagine that no one would like reading if every single book was the same because like okay say every single say there was no different types of books say every book was just about romance say every book was just about horror and you could never find anything different every book was the same then like, no one would want to read your life would be so boring if it looked exactly like somebody else's god woke you up today so you could live the story he wrote out for you it's not meant to look like anyone else's just because they have the relationship and you don't that doesn't mean that you're any less than what god has created you to be god will give you it when the time is right and you need to live every day in excitement knowing that every day is a literal book every day is a literal page in god's book written out for you and you need to live every day not focusing on any worldly thing but focusing on jesus and the rest will be added onto you it says somewhere i think it's matthew 8 28 here let me find it um but this that's kind of what i was just saying let me find it pretty sure matthew um i hope this is it oh wait no oh my gosh i'm wrong guys hold on it is uh seek the kingdom sorry i'm looking this up on my phone if you're listening seek the kingdom first okay it's matthew 6 33 which is um but but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well every day was a day created to seek first the kingdom of jesus and seek jesus first before anything else and the rest will be added on to you so yes i just wanted to close with that verse um i am gonna pray us out of this podcast if you're new to this podcast i usually do that at the end of them so anyways uh thank you so much for listening or watching and let's just pray Dear Lord, thank you so much for the person on the other side of the screen, whether they're listening, they're watching, whatever they're doing. Thank you that this podcast landed on 
to their for you page onto their podcast whatever they're doing i thank you just that they're listening to this because i believe it's for a reason and i believe that everything you do is for a reason thank you for speaking through me today and i pray that the person listening or watching would know that their life was created for a specific reason and every day was not meant to be wasted and i pray if they've been living life and they've been waking up in the same old rut that they would wake up every day making it a day to fall more in love with you making it a day to use the gifts that you have given them to just better your kingdom and help them to know that everyone has one specific calling at the end of the day and that is to get people into the kingdom of god i pray that if they've been feeling worthless they've been feeling ugly that they would say no to the enemy's lies and they would submit in your truth instead and they would say no god woke me up today because i have a purpose and i know that god doesn't create anything worthless Lord, thank you so much for the person listening or watching. I pray that if they haven't given their life to you, that they would repeat after me right now. Dear Lord, I am a sinner. I'm done living for this dirty, I'm done living for this dull world. I want to give my life to you and live in your fullness and your truth. Show me how to do it and show me how to fall more in love with you every day. I love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for listening or watching this. Go live the life God has created you to live. And I'm telling you, he didn't create you to live in a life of dullness, but a life of his truth and his fullness. Oh my gosh, that rhymed. What? Hello? New song lyric. Oh, okay. Another thing is, if you watch my YouTube channel, I have been learning how to play the guitar lately and i'm starting to learn some songs and i like to write songs so maybe later in the future you guys will get like little original songs from me or me like covering songs i'm really excited about that because i love singing i don't know but yeah anyways that was off topic but i love you guys so much but more simple most importantly jesus loves you so much have a great rest of your day goodbye beautiful or handsome person goodbye